Hey guys, welcome to Outlaw Edge. So, uh, we're finally back on Rogue. Started working on it, and I wanna start videoing, you know, doing like a vlog every day if I can. If I get real busy, I'll skip a day. But for the most part, the stuff that I'm doing during the day or whatever, I'll try to do a vlog on this. Um, the next thing we're gonna be doing on Rogue is we're gonna be building fender braces on the, on the inside of the car. I gotta build a gas tank. Um, Heidi just ordered the whole complete airbag kit. That should be here real soon. I have the grill. I'll flip the camera around and show you what I'm talking about with the grill. I got some problems that I'm having with that to get it to fit flush into the grill shell or the grill housing. Um, behind me, you can see the frame and that's on that frame table that I built, that green one. And I made it so it's, uh, it matches the welding table. So I can just scoot stuff right across because when, when you're here by yourself, it's hard to move stuff around or whatever. I just had a hell of a time trying to get this thing. It was stuck in the soft sand out behind the shop and it was kind of a pain in the ass. I just took some big pry bars and pried it forward and got it out of, out of the sand and then jumped it up the uh, concrete and pulled it inside here. But anyways, um, like I said, I'll try to do it like a vlog where it's kind of an everyday thing with uh, working on Rogue. Um, I have the hood started, but I have to do the edges and whatever on the English wheel and get it all shaped, uh, a lot of hammering and whatever. And the doors, I got the, the uh, door hinges here and I will get those installed and finish up the tops of the doors. And because there's some shapes on the tops of the doors that we wanted to do and we just haven't done that yet, we weren't sure what we wanted to do. And I kind of think we're, I, I know how I want to do it. I want to match the cowl so it, it goes all the way back down the sides of the doors. Um, other than that, we still have to put in the headlights, uh, have the glass fitted to the body. Um, it's going to be a, a mad rush to get this thing to Vegas if we're going to Vegas, you know, to take it to SEMA. So we'll just kill it, you know, the next five months and we'll see what happens. And from here on out, I don't have any uh, jobs or anything going on. So it's just going to be, like I said, it's going to be the next five months. We're just going to try to just stay real focused on the car, kick ass on it and uh, do the best we can. You know, we'll see if we can make it. I already called about the motor and the motor is ready and uh, we can go pick that up. I'll do some footage on that when we go to pick the motor up. Transmission's here and uh, the motor was done by Cheney Performance and the, mo the uh, transmission was done by uh, Bishop's Performance. And I want to thank both them. Uh, we got a lot of cool sponsors, you know. Um, I did order some more. Uh, I want to thank one of our other sponsors in that show car finish. I ordered some more show car finish Monster Fill 500, which is the primer. That's the high build primer. I'll be uh, maybe in the next three, four weeks or whatever, however long it takes, I'll be getting the body ready for paint. So I'm not sure how much metal fab I have. It, you know, sometimes you might think it's a little bit, but it turns into a big job. And I don't want to ramble on on this video too much. So, but anyways, I'll kind of keep you guys uh, updated and posted and show you where I'm at. I'm going to move the tripod back. I'll set up the tripod. I'm going to scoot this uh, frame over on the table. And I think the videos that I'm going to be doing, I don't want to waste too much time filming. So maybe I'll just sit up the camera sometimes and just work and uh, kind of talk to the camera every once in a while and show you guys what I'm doing. But anyways, I'm going to move the camera so I can get that frame uh, moved. That way you can, guys can kind of watch what I'm doing here. This new uh, welding table is badass though from uh, Tim. And that's one of our other sponsors. I want to thank Tim for the welding table. That thing's badass. So, um, so like I was saying, I, I made that frame table so it's completely flush to the top of the welding table. So when I bring the car frame back here, that way I can do the stuff by myself and I can just take the frame and move it over. And then I'm going to get all the welding and cutting and grinding and stuff on the, on the bottom of it done. And I think I'll finish all the other little patches and holes and spots that I need to finish, and then I'm gonna take it out back and uh, get it prepped for uh, sandblasting. And we'll go from there.
Now that the frame's up on here, I'll go back here in the back, and I think what I'll do is uh, I'll tape off, I'll put some rags or tape or something around that so nobody hurts themselves, well, so I don't hurt myself. And then I have this stuff here to weld up. <clears throat> but this is that uh, table I was talking about, and you can see that when you come up to the welding table, I got it where it's dead on, matched to the top of the welding table. So anytime you're right here, you can just scoot stuff right on the table. It makes it really sweet. And down there on that side, um, the floor kind of flows to that floor drain right here. So that side's dipped down just a little bit. But I mean, the table's level and square and true and plumb and all that crap right now. So it's dead on. So if I did decide to build actual frames on here, um, and when I do frames, because we have to build that frame for the unibody, um, this table is going to help out a lot. Um, I missed a couple holes because I broke the drill bits the other day. And then there's a little patch back there, that little square with some holes that I missed. But I'll get, a, I'll get some more bits and whatever and do it later. I'm not going to mess around with it right now. Um, right now, I just want to get going on Rogue, quit messing around with stuff. Um, the holes that I got marked with the chalk, they stay. Everything else gets welded up. Stuff like this, that's a drain hole. I'm not messing with that. This is a, a rod that goes from here back to the frame, like a strengthener. So I'll leave those, and then everything in the sides are, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sorry. Everything in the sides is gonna get welded up. So I'm gonna get to welding and grinding and we'll see what happens. So here's the door hinges on this thing, and they're 5 8 inch solid plasma cut steel. And I'll show you how these work later on. They're uh, suicide style hinges and they do some other crap, but we'll, we'll show those as we kind of go along, put the doors on. And then uh, here, the problem that I'm having today, this is the grill shell. This is the stainless steel grate that's cut for the grill. Man, that doesn't show up too good on the welding table, does it? Kind of mess it with the camera. But I was asking uh, DG Retro Customs and NZ Mopar if I should cut it right here and bend it back and then you know fit it into the grill into the surrounding not really sure yet because <clears throat> the problem that i have is when you're looking at the front of rogue this is all flat right here this is completely flat where the where the grill insert is going to sit into the shell or the housing but what happens is when it comes up here it has a little bit of a break right there so it's it's broke back this way and broke back this way so it's broke dead in the middle but it's only it only comes down about where it's gonna be like right here somewhere so maybe eight inches down and I think what I'll end up doing is making a jig like I was telling Danny and uh, Glenn um, I was telling them that you know I might build a jig where I could put it in the press and do it that way um, that stuff is very brittle and very hard to bend it's uh it's not thin so you know if you guys have any cool ideas I'd love to hear them and I'll show you what I'm talking about by saying, you know, it's not thin. This stuff is a uh, one inch, it would be one inch, uh, not rod, flat strap, stainless steel flat strap. And then obviously to be cut in the middle, but I don't want to see the problem that I'm having is I don't want to see a weld come down the middle of the grill, you know? So I'm not sure how to do that. This is going to be a tricky one. But like I said, if you guys have any ideas at all, leave them down in the comments. I'll listen to all of them, you know, and, and I'll try to answer everybody's comments. You know, it's kind of hard with 30,000 some odd subs, but obviously, you know, I'll try to explain to you guys what I'm doing and my ideas and all that crap. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting this off and building the pieces for over here and get going. And I might call this video the end for today. We'll be wor working on Rogue tomorrow also. And uh, as I'm doing that, like I said, I'll film some more. Appreciate all the support. Later.